Cyberbrainer is an online training platform designed to help individuals and teens learn the latest technologies and become certified professionals producing a comprehensive learning experience. Now, what you are going to be seeing is when I introduced this particular topic earlier this week, or last week, I believe, and last week. I told you about that, different types of actions that you can have. Now we are going to be doing a little bit of more deep type into all of these that are available over here. Alright, that is what we are going to be seeing first. Number 1 Action So we have already seen action, what exactly an action is. Action could be anything, any kind of an action, any other event that you want to trigger, and we also have something called a sub-business process. A sub-business process is nothing, but you are going to be initiating another business process from the higher business process. For example, this is a higher business process and I am going to be initiating another business process, and this business process is called as ongoing. From higher, I am going to be initiating an onboarding business process. That is typically what this means. And where do I see the list of business processes that I can initiate from higher, or how does it work? Is we have a different option, which is called as business process config options? All right, business process config options. What it actually shows is all the different business processes, sub business processes, which can be initiated from my higher business process. All right, this is just a menu or an option that is available. I will just show you only at a probably at a high level. I am not going to go into detailed deals about this. We will see this again when we do the debugging and everything else. But for now, remember that business process configuration options is used for sub processes, viewing all the sub process level information and task information and everything else as well including the same options and everything else is going to be available from your business process config options. That is where it is going to come in. All right, now just going back to the edit business process here. I said first, action is going to be like any other event or any sub-business process that I want to trigger from a higher BP. I can use actions. That is number one. Number two, approvals. We saw yesterday about what exactly approvals is. I have initiated something. I do not have an approval by somebody in the supervisory hierarchy. So I could have a manager, vice president, director. Anybody can approve this particular transaction. That is what approval is for. And if you see, this particular option will be cleared out. The specific option is going to be cleared out because I do not have any task. Approval is just a task by itself. I do not have anything specific for this. It is going to be available only for action and for certain other options. All right. Next I go to. The next one is called as approval chains. So what if there is a high volume or a high priority incident or high priority event which needs to be approved by multiple levels, especially the ones which are going to involve some financial implications? Say, for example, if there is going to be a procurement related thing or if I am going to be hiring somebody at a C-suite level person and I believe that it needs to be approved by multiple levels in the hierarchy which means first the manager of the organization, which means managers, managers, manager the manager square or manager cube, that is. That is what we usually mean by L3 level. So I am saying that when I say manager manage, when I say approval chain, what I mean by it is it is going to go through a series of approvals in the hierarchy. 
If I say here approval chain and I say the group over here is manager, All right. This is going to go across in an approver of manager managers, manager managers, manager and the manager L4 level manager, L5 level manager, and of course, I can have a criteria written around this as well to say how many levels it needs to go, or I can even have skip level approvals, which means L1, L3, L5, and I can also decide how many levels of approvals it needs to go across as well. I can completely conditionalize this and say that it needs to go across for an approval in the approval chain. It can be approved by manager, senior manager, vice president, director CEO among these, I can have just one level approval, two levels of approvals or skip level approvals. Whatever way I would like to have, I can have this configured wherever I decide skip level approvals. Where am I going to decide how this needs to function ideally? I need to go to the step level related actions. Business process, maintain step conditions. All right, maintain step conditions for that particular specific step, and earlier in the previous one you were seeing only the entry condition. But one thing go about, your maintain step conditions for your approval chain is, you will see three tabs over here. The first one is your entry condition, which is nothing but your if criteria, which we mentioned. So let me say location, New York, just a simple thing. I'm saying that this is going to be triggered only for New York. I'm just speaking a random rule which is already available, right? It doesn't matter to me what it is, just assume that this is the rule that I'm going to be using. All right. Next, I'm saying while well condition. This is specifically where I'm going to be mentioning what exactly needs to happen when the condition is being run. First, we saw the entry condition. Next, what we have over here is the while condition, while condition, in the sense if I'm going to say I'm going across in our management approval hierarchy manager. L, that is, L1 manager, L2 manager. L3 manager, L4. So this is going to be directly coming across in the same manner, or those folks who are from a technical background assume that it is like a while loop. A while loop is simple while loop is what this is. And for the rest of the non-technical folks, what I'm saying is assume that this is going across in the approval hierarchy chain. What do I want to give in the while criteria? Do I want to skip certain levels? I can say in the skip levels over here, say that if the manager is not out of, or he's an L1, or he's out of some other tune. I'm saying that do not have any approvals for them, so this will skip basically all of this. So let me randomly pick one level. I'm just saying manager is director. Okay. But let me just give a simple criteria over here, which is a very common criteria, which we usually use, manager criteria. See you manager management level director approval. So what this means by this. Say, for example, you are going to be, say you could have a criteria. You could have a management approval chain where I say I need to definitely get the approval of somebody at a director level. So how would you traverse so you could be at a clerical level or an administrative level? From there, you want to go directly for an approval at a director and above level, or even at a director level. So what? How exactly do you achieve this? is we use this particular while running condition. So what exactly this means is it will traverse along the management chain and first it is going to go to L1 manager, L2 manager, L3, L4 manager. It will find out who among these is going to be a director. Say, for example, 
if L1 is the first, it will go to L1 manager. If L1 manager is a director, then this criteria will be fulfilled and it will go for an approval with the L1 manager. If not, it will go to the next level manager, which is L2 manager. L2 manager, if he is at a management level of director, it will go for an approval. If not, it will go to the next one, which is L3 level manager. It will go to the L3 level manager and find out if that particular If he is a director level person, the L3 level manager is a director, then it will go for his approval. So this is what we can, or this is how we can achieve skip level. It rules as well and again, I can have it for whatever criteria that I want to have. I can have it over here. If my management levels is going to be L1, L2, L3, L4, the way I have decided, I can go for all of that as well. I can say that the criteria is going to be like management levels in 13578. It should go for approval only for these levels. So we saw about wild criteria and we also have something called as exit conditions, which is mandatory. So what exactly this exit condition does is see this is automatically traversing from the bottom level, which is at a L1 manager, all the way it will go across to CEU. When should this end say, I am traversing, I am traversing in the management hierarchy. So L1 manager, L2 manager, L3 manager, L4, L5, all the way to the CEU. But there is a possibility that it is going to go into an infinite loop. So when should I actually end this? Do I need to get the approval of all of these people in this particular hierarchy? May not be necessary, because I could have 7 or even 11 levels of manager or management hierarchy people there. It could be sufficient that I can get approvals of just one person at a director and above level. Say for certain criteria or certain business transactions, something like hiring somebody or any financial related transactions. It could be okay. If I get an approval from anybody in your management chain who is of director and above. In that case, I can say a simple criteria over here as approval count. I don't know whether there is a criteria. Okay, so here it says approval count is 2 but I can have so many criteria. Also I could say that stop, don't go beyond a senior director level, because above senior director class could be somebody at a CU level. I could have an approval from vice president, director, senior director. That's it. It should not go to the CU level, so I can say their approval rule here, or the exit criteria rule here. As don't go beyond director level. It should be director and below. Once it goes to the next level, come out of the loop. Here this particular criteria which we have over here is called as approval count. To hear the criteria says approval chain count, into which means it will stop when I have got to approvals from director level. It will traverse above. So director, senior director, or somebody of that sort. And it will end at a point where I have got two people who have approved this particular transaction. It will stop right over there. So first we saw entry condition. Next, entry condition is nothing, but only this is applicable only for a new city location. Rest of them is not applicable. Next, we just saw a simple criteria over here where it says approval level is going to be somebody at a director level. Only for a director level. It needs to be approved. Next we saw an exit criteria, which means I need to have only two levels of approval at a director and above. That's it. This is the way the approval chain criteria are configured and in any approval chain, while and exit criteria are mandate. 3. If you do not give it, it's going to throw an error. 
so please be mindful about when you create an approval chain over here. Clear, now I'm going to be hiring somebody, and I'm going to be hiring somebody for this particular supervised organization of Carefully. All right above, Carefully, I have Jamie Stone. I have Jamie Stone. I don't know whether Jamie Stone is going to be a director level, or let's see who's a Jamie Stone. Jamie Stone is a consultant manager, and let's see the management level of Jamie Stone. All right, my criteria that I have given there is, it should go for an approval only if a person is at a director and above level first. When Carol is initiating a transaction, it will go to Jamie Stone. Is Jamie Stone a director? No. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.